Tonight, an MBTA transit police officer accused of beating a homeless man is collecting a pension and will keep pocketing that money if he's convicted or not. Kathy Curran has been digging into this tonight. She's right here right now, Kath. And Ed, we first told you about the case involving Officer Dorsten Bartlett and two transit police supervisors a few weeks ago. Now we've learned Bartlett is already collecting a pension worth tens of thousands of dollars a year, and he'll keep getting those checks even if he's convicted. Transit police officer Dorsten Bartlett is accused of beating a homeless man multiple times with his baton inside the Ashmont T station last summer. Prosecutors say it was an unprovoked assault by a man in uniform on a vulnerable victim. According to records obtained by five investigates, months later, while the case was under investigation, Bartlett filed this application for retirement and began collecting his $50,000 a year pension. Now we've learned even if he's convicted of the crime, he'll continue to pocket every dime. Government watchdogs say it's a loophole that should be closed. It's outrageous that uh, this person, if he's convicted, can just completely sidestep the, the essential uh, protection that the public has against uh, public abuse. We've discovered because the MBTA Police Association Retirement Plan is a private pension fund, state laws don't apply. So any retiree who once wore the uniform of the transit police can still collect their pension even if convicted of a job-related crime. But if you're a state retiree, like the troopers and supervisors convicted in the overtime scandal, state law does apply, and those pensions are on the line. If you're a state trooper or any state employee, if you break the law in the course of your job, you're going to lose your pension. That is a real penalty, and it should be applied to the MBTA transit police. We have learned this issue is expected to come up during the next round of contract talks. The T contributed about $2.5 million to the police retirement plan during the last fiscal year, and Bartlett's lawyer said his client worked 35 years without any disciplinary issues. Kathy Karn, 5 Investigates. Kathy